While we're here in the Adirondacks, we're gonna show you our beaver setup. I'm up here with Eddie Dakin. Uh, we're gonna throw some fisher sets in too, but we're gonna try and catch some beaver. And I'm gonna show you that setup. Um, this is the number four Duke, which is, I use pretty much exclusively for beavers. Um, that's pretty much good. I like to reset them and set them here at the truck, check them before I get down there. That's ready to go, pan tench is good. Um, we do have an S hook uh, attached through the uh, end swivel. But uh, I wanted to show you our drowning slide wire, our rig here. This is 332nd cable, it's 10 feet long. Each end comes with an adjustable loop. Um, that's gonna allow you to stabilize it at the top and the bottom, whether you're using, we're using some lead weights here today, but you can use a sandbag, a cinder block, whatever. But the one facet of this, which uh, I wanna show you is also our 332nd Dakota Series aggressive mini cam where you can see how fast this goes down the wire boom now we're going to attach the trap to the little circle of cable here that we've nutted off to to actually make it to where we don't have to try and get the s hook through the actual cam but you can see when the beaver gets caught in this which this is going to be attached to the trap and i'm going to show you that but it just down the wire they go and when they go down this aggressive mini cam does not allow them to come back up this is a two lock and the only way to move that up is actually get your fingers in there but that's actually what we're using and it's a really good setup and if you're doing any beaver trapping uh highly recommend you have something that's going to be efficient for you as i said we're going to attach the s hook into the loop that we have there and all we're doing is crimping that down and now this is pretty much ready to go when we get to the water what we're going to use for the upper anchor to stabilize it to make it to where it's taut we're using our fiberglass stakes that we're making they're about 24 inches long that's going to go through the upper loop and be, go into the ground and then that'll be taut to where once the weights are out there that'll be going down through what we're going to use for the weights are just these weights we're going to wire them off and that's going to be enough to be attached to the bottom of our our slide wire and you'll see this is a very easy setup now like i said you don't have to use these weights you can use a center block you can use a uh you know sandbag you can use a lot of different things for your weight at the bottom but we're going to get them around and we're going to tie that off and once that's tied off we can take the bottom of our slide wire where the loop is at the bottom this is the bottom and make sure that you have this set up you don't want to do it backwards because then the lock won't go down but this one is set up correctly you can see that's falling down so this is the top and the bottom's over here and all we're going to do is take this through one of these uh ends here and then i like to bring it when i'm using these just up through and that's going to connect to the bottom and hold on to the wire there this is going to go out into the bottom for our bottom of our slide wire this will be the top connected to the trap and this will stabilize it at the top and we're going to show you how to put that in but i wanted to take a second here and just show you this little system that is extremely efficient it's going to allow you to put a lot of sets in quickly i don't do this all down at the water i do this on the back of the truck so when i go to put this in i just pick this up my trap i can actually carry it with one hand just like this and my lures in my pocket and i can carry that right down to the stream just like that i don't have to carry a bunch of other equipment and this once i get there it's ready to go in the ground and we're going to show you that but when you're out there beaver trapping uh, if you're on sign and you're in an area and you make a scent mount and we have a lot of open water It's not freezing yet. These sets are absolutely 100% effective when you have open water you you make a scent mount you put your lure on it And we're going to show you how you put it in the ground But when you do catch them have a setup like this to where they're down that wire and They're there for you when you come back the next morning as you can see we got a beaver hut right behind us here this is a little eddy here. There was a scent mound right here, but it's really deep off of here. So I'm actually tearing their scent mound off and throwing it in the back there. And that's where I'm gonna put my, uh, 
that's where I'm going to put my lure and my set back there. Um, as I stated, when I was showing you this setup, we have the trap on the uh, slide wire. This is the bottom here where the weights are. Trap comes up. And then we're going to throw the slide wire out into the deeper water. I don't like the way that threw out there, so we're going to move that back up and we're going to try and toss that back out there a little bit further. And that's one good thing about these. Done, you know, if you're using wire, it kinks up. You can't really do this. With these cable, they're not going to kink and it just makes it easier to do this. So we're going to get that. That's going to be taut. We're going to take our upper stabilizer. We're going to put that down in the bank here. And pound that down in. Now we'll get our trap set. We already know it's setting perfectly because we did it on the truck before we got out here. And that's good. We'll move that up. Get that up in there. And then we're going to set right there for the front foot. And that's exactly where we want it. That beaver, maybe otter. We got some sign here. That beaver's going to work up in here. Well, we got that in there. That's going to be for a front foot. I'm going to just, I don't like the little bit of slack. And that's one thing I will tell you. I don't like any slack in this cable. So we're going to throw it back out. That taunts it up. We're going to find our chain. We're going to pull the trap out. And we're going to make sure that we have that in there exactly where we want it to be, which is right there. And no different than when I'm setting for coyotes or bobcats or whatever. If you noticed, I was moving that trap with my hand into the ground there to stabilize it as much as I can. We got some uh, white poplar here. I had another one. I don't know where I put it, but this will be fine. That's going to give some eye appeal. We're going to jam that right in the bank. And then we're just going to finish it off with our caster lure, which is nothing more than smelling like a beaver that's been laying in a beaver for about three weeks. It's just awesome. It's really good smell. We're going to get that in there on that set mound and that's good there's not much else to put in a set in this is a really nice little eddy that's been cut out it might even be where the beavers were in here feeding and i don't doubt that we will have some action here maybe even before dark. This could be where they're just swimming out here in the daytime. See this, come over and investigate. We've done that a lot of times. We've set for beaver and went back before dark to maybe put another set in. And we've had beaver in the sets that we've put in earlier in the morning. So just a beautiful, beautiful day. And that's all there is to putting in a scent mount or a caster mount set for beaver and come back here tomorrow and hopefully have one. This is that uh, beaver set I put in yesterday right on this nice little spot here and we got a big one. He obviously didn't go down the wire but you can see He's got this all tore up, that's for sure. But you can see how that eddy come up in there. I had that set right there. And he, uh, obviously, you can see how thick it was. I was a little worried that he wouldn't go down the, the cable, but I knew we'd have action here tonight, right on the side of this, uh, Little Eddie that comes in. Nice looking beaver. We're gonna get him taken care of, but what do you think, Eddie? That's a nice sized beaver. 
He's a uh, he's a big one. He'd he's be a blanket. He's oh, probably thirty plus anyway, thirty five pound. But I think so. Uh, we kind of thought we were going to have some action here. Oh yeah, that was a given. You know, you're this Pretty close. Well you're this close to this to this you know working hut, and it's just a beautiful swamp here. What a gorgeous morning, huh? An absolute beautiful morning. But we'll get him taken care of. Uh, nice beaver, but you can see these caster mound sets. We had that one right there. They're gonna work for you. And uh, we'll get him taken care of, but that's a really nice beaver. Well, we got this beaver taken care of and we'll get this uh, cleaned out a little bit so we can remake our set but he's got this obviously tore up it's not uh exactly you know picture perfect but anytime you get a beaver is a good thing pull this up and obviously uh he was in there quite a while he's got this all messed up we got a lot of uh <laughs> vegetation around the cable but he did get down the cable. He just, there's a lot of that vegetation in there that that uh, didn't allow for, didn't allow for him to get the whole way down. But it's a nice beaver nonetheless. Yeah, that's a big beaver there. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. Real nice beaver. But we'll get this remade. We got one more night. That hit the first night. Get that cleaned out as much as possible. The one thing I brought in today is this. So I can actually get some of that vegetation out of there to give that bag or those weights an opportunity to get out in there. And I've created a little spot now that not only will allow that beaver to come in here, but it will also allow me to get my rig out in the deeper water. So we'll get that all the way back to the top, get our weights, and then throw them out again. Perfect, nice and tight. Actually, we may just do that one more time. There we go. Nice and tight there, but this is just a perfect setup for beaver. It's, it's already rounded out. This is obviously, there's a little hole that goes up in here. This is obviously something that they were in here digging before, but we're going to take advantage of it hopefully again and get that one's mate tonight. That's set, and that's gonna go right back there where it was. Push that down in, so when they come in, it's in there sturdy. That's pretty much all there is to the remake. You can see how fast these systems work. You know, drown and wait out there, trap, beaver and we'll get some more of our lure up in here and that's all we need pretty good but we're all set ready to go we got ourselves a real nice beaver and it's just something anybody out there could do get yourself a good rigging system you can see how quick it is the weight the you know upper stabilization with our stake that we showed you yesterday traps placed beaver comes in and you get them oh man that's a nice beaver right there that is a pretty nice hog right there and there's no doubt there's probably one more in there, it might be a pair this size, 30, 35 pounds. But our set is in good working order. We got one more night. 
Just set this yesterday, one beaver the first night, and uh, hopefully we'll come back in here and have another one tomorrow, but this is actually a really, really nice beaver. Email us today for a free catalog to browse all of our traps and snares, baits and lures, and much more. Get all of your trapping and predation control needs by emailing to info at NorthAmericanTrapper.com for your free catalog. Proven products equals proven conservation. Well, we got another one here. This is uh, a nice area. This swamp right here goes out in there. Those beavers come down and go under the road to the other side over here. Just a beautiful area. Um, had a scent mount here and this looks to be a really big beaver and it actually looks like another one was uh, grabbing at him to pull him out. But we're gonna get him up here. That is a big beaver. Look at the size of that beaver. That's a nice adult beaver right there. That's what we're here for. Down by back foot. Just an awesome, awesome beaver. Man, that's a big thing. But uh, what an awesome day. I mean, it's 50 some degrees here in the Adirondacks. Uh, out here chasing some beaver uh, with my friend Eddie Dakin, Johnny Thorpe's old trapping partner. We're reminiscing about Johnny about every time we go around a turn, we're telling a story. Whether I remember it when I was with Johnny or he's telling me when he was with Johnny and it's just awesome. But uh, as you can see here, these locks that we're using on our 10 foot slide wires are like down at the bottom every time and you know when you catch a beaver and boom down they go and then they can't get back up but the only way you can do it is to use your hands to bring it back up the the cable but it's just a great system this system here is going to work for you anywhere you have open water for beaver uh otter it's going to work anytime that you're working around water uh, and you know, we're using a railroad tie plate here and another weight, but we'll throw that back out. Hold it taunt. You want that wire or cable that you're using, you want it taunt. And it's exactly uh, all you need to do. We had that trap right here. Actually, if you remember, I had it. Actually, I don't think I filmed this uh, set. Filmed the one on the other side. I had it set for a front foot, still caught them in a back foot. What they'll do sometimes, they come in, and they come up on their hind legs and they waddle up to put more on their scent mound or check out the scent mound that's here. But caught him by a back foot and he was down at the bottom. But we just wall this out again. We'll get this reset. Number four, Duke. Uh, I know we're seeing any trap with his old number 44 Blake and Lambs, but these number four Dukes are a good beaver trap as well. And as long as you have the jaw spread to get that whole back foot in, any trap is gonna work for you. And got that reset and it doesn't take much. We're just gonna bring that lock back up a little and get that trap right back in there to where when they come up, I'm gonna, you know, like I said, I set for a front foot. You can look at my videos from back in 2003. We were using the Duke number three round jaws and I remember taking a lot of heat for that on Trapper Man and, and uh, you know, you can't catch beaver nose. And we used to catch every beaver we caught in those number three round jaws. I mean, they're a good trap and we would catch just as many in the back foot as the front foot. And I think that's what they do. They come up, they hit a little shallow water, they get on their back feet and waddle up and they hit it with their back foot. But uh, this will clear up and I'll show you the trap placement to see. But we cut some uh, new uh, feed sticks and we're just gonna pound them in 
and we're gonna wet up our caster mound. I, for some reason, didn't bring uh, more than a container of our caster lure. I wasn't thinking straight when I was leaving. I was in a hurry, but I got my uh, hunter lure, which has beaver caster in it, and that's going to be effective as well. And we're just going to get some of that, put that right on the scent mound, and we are good to go. It doesn't take long to remake. It doesn't take long to uh, put them in in the first place. We've showed it. You got your, your weight, you tie it off, wire it off. 10 foot cable, it's taunt, trap, and the stake to keep it stabilized at the top so that they go right down. But we got ourselves a really nice big adult beaver here. And uh, Hopefully we'll come back here tomorrow and have another one, but just awesome. And uh, if you need any beaver work or whatever, make sure you look into getting some good traps, some good equipment, and you're gonna be successful out there as well. But as I was saying, what an absolute gorgeous day here. Uh, got two really, I only have four sets out. I'm just kind of up here, I'm relaxing. I've been working all summer and and he said, come on up and trap some beaver. I said, you know what, I'll come up and try and catch one Adirondack beaver and how I got two today. I mean, what, what, what can be any better than that? That's just uh, awesome to be out here telling stories, reminiscing. And it's just every, every view you see is a postcard. And just awesome. Got one more night. We'll see if we have some more tomorrow. Awesome beaver. Nothing working this set today. You can see that set still in there. Nothing came by. That's fine. It's still in a good spot. I'm actually pulling my set up today and Eddie's going to take it over and you're going to end up probably having a 70 pounder here tomorrow. That's kind of how I roll. It could happen, yes. <laughs> he just didn't come by last night. We got that one big one. Um, I do have that set on the other side, and me and Eddie actually saw that. And I definitely have something, but it's not, uh, it's not what we were looking for um, as far as a big beaver. You can see how I had this in here and this little cut out Eddie. You can see where them beaver go back and forth under the road. and. We got a monster muskrat. That's actually a really big yeah, muskrat. I'm just seeing that. Yeah, that is a good one. Yeah. So we had the, the trap right here, scent mound. But all in all, Eddie, just a beautiful place here. Yeah. I it's, like it. It's just an awesome, uh, awesome area. Beaver, and beaver been coming through here for a thousand years. Yeah, you said you caught what eight or ten here last year. Yep. Yeah, there's a big hut down here, probably I don't know three four hundred yards and above. There's another hut that's uh, about three or four hundred yards as well. But ultimately, uh, this uh, this one got a, a muskrat before the beavers had a chance to come in and we'll get him skinned out but nice rat nonetheless um you know you can just see though these sets will work for you put these caster mounds in um any beaver that comes up from there or down under the road is going to work right in here and eddie's going to take this one over as well yep gonna put a number four double long spring you like them big old blake and lammers 44. 44, but today I got a couple of victors. I'm going to save those 44s for another spot. All right, cool. Well, I'll get my uh, trap off of the the rig, and you'll be able to just connect your uh, trap to the S-hook. We've showed you that setup. That setup's going to work for you. Um, anywhere across the country, you got open water, put these caster mounds in, and uh, you're going to be successful. But an awesome time, Eddie. I'm glad you like it. Are you kidding me? This is just beautiful up here. Absolutely beautiful. And it's, it's been a lot of fun to have someone to talk about. 
Well, or talk, yeah. talk to. Well, I'm you sorry. can you can <laughs> talk about me when I leave. <laughs> Talk to. Him. I'm always alone, so. Well, you. Uh, That's why I act weird. You no, know, well, we're all weird to a certain extent. We're trappers. Yes. <laughs> we're under the radar. We're under the radar. <laughs> Email us today for a free catalog to browse all of our traps and snares, baits and lures, and much more. Get all of your trapping and predation control needs by emailing to info at NorthAmericanTrapper.com for your free catalog. Proven products equals proven conservation.